were the top artists of the Renaissance era? This is a question that sparks intrigue and fascination across generations. The Renaissance, that magical period from the 14th to the 17th century, brought forth a cultural awakening across Europe. It was a time of rebirth, a resurgence of art, literature and learning that forever shaped our world. This era saw the rise of extraordinary artists, their works illuminating the pages of history with their brilliance. They were the visionaries who dared to see the world differently, to challenge the norms and push the boundaries of creativity. Their masterpieces, resplendent with life, colour and emotion, continue to captivate us centuries later. From the sublime harmony of Raphael to the innovative techniques of Titian, the breathtaking intensity of El Greco to the unparalleled genius of Leonardo da Vinci, these artists represent the pinnacle of Renaissance artistry. Prepare to embark on a journey through history as we count down the top 10 artists of the Renaissance era. Starting off our countdown at number 10, we have Andrea Mantegna. Mantegna was an Italian painter, a student of Roman archaeology and son-in-law of Jacopo Bellini. His marriage with Bellini's daughter, Nicolosia, connected him with the leading artists of his time. Mantegna's unique contribution to the Renaissance era lies in his inventive use of perspective. His mastery of foreshortening, a technique that involves the visual effect of shortening lines in a drawing to create an illusion of depth, was unparalleled. This technique is prominently seen in his painting, The Lamentation Over the Dead Christ. Here, Mantegna experiments with extreme perspective, presenting a dramatic view of Christ's body, viewed from his feet. This bold departure from traditional depictions of this scene was a testament to Mantegna's innovative spirit. His unique vision and technical prowess have solidified his place in the annals of art history, making him a figure of great significance in the Renaissance art world. At number nine, we have the legendary Giotto di Bondone. This Italian painter and architect from Florence is widely recognized as one of the pivotal figures in the shift from Byzantine art to the more naturalistic style that would come to define the Renaissance. Giotto's work represents a seismic shift in the world of art, where Byzantine art was characterized by a certain stiffness and formality, Giotto introduced a sense of life and movement to his subjects. He was a master of portraying depth and volume, and his figures were imbued with a previously unseen degree of realism. His frescoes, such as the Scrivania Chapel in Padua, are a testament to his ability to capture the human experience in its rawest form. Through his art, he brought forth the emotional essence of his subjects making each story he told poignant and relatable. Giotto's groundbreaking work laid the groundwork for the Renaissance era. His innovative approach to art continues to inspire artists and art enthusiasts alike, even in the 21st century. Coming in at number eight, we have the master of Venetian painting Tintoretto. Born in Venice around 1500, Tintoretto, also known as Jacopo Comin, was a prolific artist whose dynamic compositions and rich use of color set him apart from his contemporaries. With his large-scale paintings, Tintoretto brought the drama of mannerism to the Venetian school of painting. His use of colour was both innovative and expressive, with deep, rich hues that added depth and emotion to his works. Tintoretto's compositions were often dramatic and filled with movement, reflecting the turbulent times in which he lived. His works, such as The Last Supper and The Miracle of the Slave, are characterized by their bold use of perspective, dramatic lighting, and intense emotion. With his innovative approach to painting, Tintoretto left a lasting impact on the art world. Tintoretto's bold and vibrant works continue to captivate art enthusiasts to this day. At number seven, we have the enigmatic El Greco. Born Domenikos Theotokopoulos in Crete, this Greek painter made a significant impact on the Spanish Renaissance, despite being a man apart from the mainstream. El Greco's style was unique, a fusion of Byzantine and Western influences, resulting in dramatic, elongated figures against complex, swirling backgrounds. His works radiated an emotional intensity that was unparalleled, a depth of feeling that was almost spiritual in its fervor. Never one to follow the crowd, El Greco's art challenged the norms of his time, provoking thought and stirring emotion. His use of color, his manipulation of light and shadow, and his innovative spatial compositions were groundbreaking, and his influence on the world of art is still felt today. From the burial of the Count of Orgaz to view of Toledo, his paintings are a testament to his unique vision and extraordinary talent. 
El Greco's distinct style and profound emotional depth have left an indelible mark on the art world. At number six, we have the renowned sculptor Donatello. Born in the heart of Florence, Italy, Donatello was a true master of his craft, creating sculptures so lifelike they seem to breathe. His works, such as the majestic David and the emotive Mary Magdalene, demonstrate an exceptional understanding of human anatomy, movement and emotion. But Donatello's influence extends beyond his remarkable talent for capturing the human form in bronze and marble. He was a pioneer in the development of Renaissance sculpture, introducing techniques such as schiacciato, a subtle form of low-relief carving that adds depth and perspective to two-dimensional surfaces. His innovative approach to sculpture set the stage for the breathtaking works that would follow in the Renaissance era. Donatello's sculptures, brimming with life and realism, remain some of the most influential works of the Renaissance era. Moving on to number five, we have the illustrious Raphael. A master of harmony and balance, Raphael's works are the epitome of the high Renaissance ideals. His compositions, filled with a serene tranquility, reflect a world in perfect equilibrium. Each figure, each architectural element is carefully placed to achieve a sense of perfect unity and balance. Raphael's skill in creating harmonious compositions is not just about placing elements in the right places. It's about imbuing each element with a sense of life and vitality, making them work together to create a whole that is much greater than the sum of its parts. His works, including the iconic School of Athens, are characterized by clarity of form, ease of composition, and visual achievement of the Neoplatonic ideal of human grandeur. This grandeur is not about ostentatious display, but about the beauty and nobility of the human spirit. Raphael's harmonious and balanced compositions continue to be celebrated as the epitome of high Renaissance art. At number four, we have the celebrated Titian. A titan of the Italian Renaissance, Titian is renowned for his innovative use of color and groundbreaking painting techniques. Born Tiziano Vecellio, Titian hailed from the city of Venice, a vibrant hub of commerce, culture and art during the Renaissance. Titian's style was a departure from the precise and detailed approach of his contemporaries. Instead, he opted for a freer, more expressive style, making bold use of colour and brushwork. His paintings are characterised by their vibrant hues, dramatic lighting and the palpable sense of life they exude. Not only was Titian a master of portraiture, but he also excelled in a variety of genres, including mythological and religious scenes. His works, such as Assumption of the Virgin, Venus of Urbino and The Rape of Europa are considered masterpieces of the Renaissance, showcasing his innovative approach to composition and colour. Titian's innovative techniques and masterful use of colour have secured his place among the greats of the Renaissance. Coming in at number three, we have the incomparable Michelangelo. A true Renaissance man, Michelangelo was not just an artist. He was a sculptor, a painter, an architect and a poet. His work embodies the very spirit of the Renaissance, a time of rebirth, discovery and humanism. His sculptures, like the towering David or the poignant Pieta, are renowned for their lifelike detail and emotional intensity. They capture the very essence of human struggle and triumph, making them as relevant today as they were centuries ago. As a painter, Michelangelo gave us the magnificent frescoes on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, a masterwork of drama, energy and divine inspiration. His architectural designs, including the layout of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, showcase his understanding of space, form and function, and his ability to create structures of enduring beauty and importance. Michelangelo's multifaceted genius continues to inspire and awe, making him one of the most revered figures of the Renaissance era. At number two, we have the extraordinary Leonardo da Vinci. A polymath of the Renaissance, da Vinci's genius spanned multiple disciplines from painting and sculpture to science and engineering. His masterpieces, such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, are some of the most recognized and influential works in the annals of art history. The Mona Lisa, with her enigmatic smile, continues to captivate audiences, while the Last Supper is a testament to da Vinci's mastery of perspective and narrative. Beyond his art, Da Vinci's detailed anatomical sketches and innovative engineering designs showcase his unquenchable curiosity and profound understanding of the natural world. His notebooks, filled with sketches and observations, reveal a mind constantly probing, constantly questioning. 
This marriage of art and science of observation and imagination is what sets da Vinci apart. Leonardo da Vinci's unparalleled genius and lasting influence make him one of the most renowned artists in history. And finally, at number one, we have the magnificent Sandro Botticelli. Emerging from the bustling art scene of 15th century Florence, Botticelli's works are some of the most recognizable and beloved images of the Renaissance. His masterpieces, The Birth of Venus and Primavera, are celebrated for their compelling beauty and intricate symbolism. Botticelli's Venus, emerging from a shell, is a vision of idealized beauty that has captivated audiences for centuries. Similarly, Primavera presents a lush, allegorical springtime scene that is rich in detail and filled with mythological figures. Botticelli's unique style, characterized by his flowing lines and graceful figures, truly embodies the spirit and beauty of the Renaissance. He possessed an unparalleled ability to weave together the threads of humanism, mythology and religion, creating a tapestry of art that continues to inspire and captivate. Botticelli's ethereal and iconic works encapsulate the beauty and spirit of the Renaissance, securing his place as the top artist of the era.